mean everything to me because I know you mean everything to Christ. And Christ means everything to me. And I called on the Lord. I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? the truth about this Biden, that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and North American Indians are the real Jews that the Bible speaks of. Right. And today, we're going to bring out the destruction that's coming to the America, because it's definitely coming. Now you got this Pride Week, which sucks, because every day you got to see rainbow this and rainbow that. But now what's going on? Now you got child child violation constantly and consistently now they trying to issue that in it's already in it just ain't on the books yet but what we gonna do we're gonna start in the book where everybody's so-called scared of give me revelations father kashaw we're gonna start in revelations 18 and 1. because see all these oppressors oh we forgot i know the brothers and sisters ain't seen us in a while but let me tell you let me remind you that the white man is the devil that the bible speaks of. that's right you got you got that this is Revelation chapter 18, verse 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. The power that's going to come down when Christ returned to this earth. Who is it? It's the angels. Not aliens, but angels. And who are the angels? The angels are the, are the, are the sons of men, are the sons of the Most High in heaven. They are real beings. They are terrifying beings. These are the beings that's going to come with Christ to destroy this place. America, the UK, Australia, any government that's on this planet is going to be crushed by the power of Christ, who we call Yahweh Shah in the Hebrew. So from the top. This is Revelation chapter 18, verse 1. And these things I saw another angel come from heaven, having great power. Having great power. Not the power of the white man or the, or the oppressor, but I'm talking about real power, godly power, a power that you've never seen before. Read. And the earth was lightened with his glory. Verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen. Say what? Babylon, the great is fallen. Read again. Babylon, the great is fallen. Who is Babylon the great? Babylon, the greatness of America. Babylon in ancient times was Iraq, or so-called Iraq today. That's Babylon. But Babylon today is America. Because America allows all the other nations to come over here and confound your tongue and everything. It's confusion. That's what Babylon is. Read it again. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is falling. Babylon, the great is falling. Keep reading. It's falling, and it has become the habitation of devils. And it's become the habitation of devils. You got these so-called stinking heathens out here. The white man, the so-called East Indian, Ethiopians, you Hamites, all these Asians, East Indians, everybody come on, allowed to come to America and crush the black man, crush the Hispanic man, Crush the North American Indian, and they get away with it. They have gobbled us up economically and physically. Right. Damn the white man who is the devil. That's the right. Bible speaks of. That's right. Read verse three again. Verse three: For all nations have have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her. For all nations have drunk of the wine. We just got finished bringing out that all these other nations are allowed to come over here and gobble the black man up, gobble the Hispanic and North American Indian man. Everybody is allowed to oppress us. And when we say something about it, it goes unheard. 
But when you see us come out here, Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, who trying to give you your identity back, that's only to our brothers and sisters. You go against us, but you don't say nothing about that stinking Christian church and that disgusting, foul pastor of yours that you that you willingly uh, uh, allow you, allow to pimp you. First three again. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the king of the earth has committed for fornication. Drop that. Go to verse ten. What the brother is bringing out is so heavy because see we need we need this knowledge. And who who the only ones on the earth to give it to you? The ISUPK under Commander General Yohanna. Right. You will never find this information nowhere else under the rocks, in the caves, in the sky, or land anywhere. You will find it right here from the men of the Lord. You got that? Read. This is Revelation chapter 18, verse 10. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour. One hour. The great city of Babylon is burned, burned. That's what's coming to America. Don't get scared. All you got to do is come back to your people and you will be delivered. Christ is coming back for us and only us. Nobody else, no foreigner in America is going to survive. You will all be decimated from the power of Christ and the Lord. You can't win. You're not, you're not really winning now. But see, we need to come back to our, our identity, our law, statutes, and commandments. We from the top. Verse 10, standing to fall off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour, thy judgment comes. For in one hour. Now that doesn't literally mean 59 minutes, 59 seconds, 60, 60 minutes. That means in one hour in Christ in, in the most high's time, not in our time. It's going to be a quick, it's going to be a quick destruct, destruction. We're going to be on the chariots, Lord willing. Follow these law statutes and commandments. You can drop that. Let me get the book of Amos 9 and 8. Pardon the show. Amos 9 and 8. Every day we suffer in this in, in this kingdom. Who was the only ones that they that they that they pour crack, dope, PCP, pills? Any, any drug you can name, they tested it out on us, not those other nations. The other nations are now hooked on it, or now they got all types of programs to help them out. But where everybody getting reparations, we didn't even get crack reparations. And crack reparations would have been lawful. But nah, we ain't getting nothing in this kingdom. Why? Because we that's how you know we the lost 12 tribes of Israel. If you're not on this sign right here, you don't matter. The Most High is not with you. Amos 9 and 8. Every day, like I was saying, every day we bring out, we got classes every day, every day. And we constantly teaching our people who we are and what we should do and what we shouldn't do. But at the same time, you got the Christian church that you keep listening to. Stop listening to the Christian church. Stop listening to that greedy pastor of yours because he doesn't love you and the truth is not in him. You got the scripture? Read. This is Amos chapter nine, verse eight. Behold, the, the eyes of the Lord God are upon a sinful kingdom. This is a sinful kingdom right here. This is not the only one, but this is the great one right here. It's like the scripture before, Babylon the Great. This is Babylon the Great in modern day times. That sinful kingdom. Keep reading. And I will destroy it. I will what? I will destroy it. We just got finished bringing out that America is going to burn. America will burn. Just like my captain saying, May the streets of D.C. and all the inner cities be bathed with the blood of the white man. Yes, right. All of them. Read again. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Destroy it from off the what? Face of the earth. Never to return back again. You lose, Mr. Oppressor. You lose, East Indian, Moabite, Asian, Chinese, Japanese, East Indian, Hamite, African. And by the way, we are not Africans. So stop, if, you, if you're a black man, a so-called black man in America, stop calling yourself a stinking African because that's not what you are. Right. Read it from the top. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. The most high sees what's going on. 
what you did, Mr. Oppressor, to our people, it does not go unpunished. You will suffer. Just because you haven't felt it yet doesn't mean your time ain't coming. It's coming real soon. We And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Destroy it from off the face of the earth. Keep reading. Saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. The Most High said he will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Who is Jacob? Jacob is the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. We are, we are Jacob's sons and daughters. Jacob is our forefather. The Most High said he will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. A lot of our people, if you don't come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments, you will go down in this place. Lord willing, you won't. But, you, but the Most High said he will not utterly destroy the whole house of Jacob. Read it again. Behold the eyes of the Lord, God upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Drop that. Let me get the book of Jeremiah 51 and 2. Jeremiah 51 and 2. See, what we're doing today, for the brothers and sisters that just came out, we're the ISUPK under command of General Johanna. We're bringing out the truth in this Bible that the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native American Indians, we are the real Jews that the Bible speaks of. We are brothers, we are cousins, we are all family. Right. We are not separate, we are one of the same, one blood. That's who we are. You're not African, you're not Asian. Stop, practice. Stop trying to be a Buddhist, stop trying to be a Muslim, because you're not an Arab either. You are not a a an Arab. Arabs are over there in the Middle East, and they're allowed to come over here and be on top of us. Pause. Got that? Read. If you wanted to. This is Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 2. And will send unto Babylon's banners. Send what? Back unto Babylon's banners. This is saying, I will send unto Babylon, i.e. America, banners. Spell that. F. A-N-N-E-R-S. Banners are like missiles. <clears throat> what's what's going to destroy this place? Thermonuclear warfare. Right. Missiles will be, be hitting this place. Right. It's saying right here in the no, Bible. Banners. Banners is something that, 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 that go in the wind. And what goes in the wind? Missiles. Bombs. That's what's coming to America. Just like what's going on right now on the Gaza Strip. That's coming to America, and you can definitely believe that. The Most High says, read from the top. This is, chapter, this is Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 2. And will send unto Babylon banners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. They shall be against her round about. There's going to be bombs, missiles, all going hitting America. If you don't believe it, take that up with the Most High, which you can't. America is going to be destroyed within one hour. And that's not 59 minutes and 59 seconds. That is a time span. This place will be destroyed because the children of Israel need to be delivered. That is the only way we're going to get up out of this place. But you are, at the meantime, you have to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Read that from the top. Verse 3, verse 2, and will send the pot send unto Babylon, fan that shall fan her, and shall empty her land. But in the day of trouble, they shall be against her, round about. Round about. You can drop that. Go back to Revelation 18 and 17. Revelation 18 and 17. What we're bringing out today, we're showing you and we're reading right from the Bible. We're not making this up. These are not our words right here that we just made up. This is coming straight from the Bible. The Bible is our constitution. Black man, Hispanic man, Native Indian man. If, you, if you're a Mexican, Puerto Rican, <coughs> Dominican, you are our brother and our sister. It's on, the, it's on, we got a chart right here, a 12 tribe chart to show you your true identity. You got that? Read. 
This is Revelations chapter 18, verse 17. For in one hour, so great riches. Once again, it says within one hour. We brought it out in the verses before. Within one hour, this place will be destroyed. Here it go again in Revelation. For in one hour, so great riches is come to naught. In one hour, all these riches that America has consumed off the backs of the slaves in this place is going to be consumed, it's going to be destroyed. Within one hour, all, all of you oppressors that they, they, they just walk up and down 7th Street and 8th Street with so much damn freedom that you never get punished. Your people have never been punished for what you did to our people. But we're not going to put a hand on you. You want to take that? The most Christ is going to come back and destroy the oppressor who is the white man. Read from the top. This is Revelation chapter 18, verse 17. For in one hour, so great riches is come to naught in every shipmaster, in all company, in ships, in sailors. Every damn thing. Everything going to be wiped out in this place. On, on, on your seas, the Baltimore port will be wiped out. Any harbor that's in America will be destroyed. Who cares about your structures? Because they all gonna get destroyed. By God, by the Most High. The Most High will destroy everything that you have consumed off the backs of the slaves in America. And who are the slaves? The so-called black man, Native Indian man, Hispanic man. We from the top. Verse 17. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, grab a flyer, brother. Grab a flyer. Grab a flyer. For in one hour, so great riches is come to naught in every shipmaster, in all the company and ship, and sailors, and as many as trade by sea to the far off. Verse 18. And cried when they saw the smoke of her burning. They cried. All these nations that 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 got all the riches from getting drunk by by, the, by America's drinks, they cried. They started to cry when they see this place burn. Why? Because they can't they can't get rich off the backs of the slaves anymore. Read again. Verse eighteen. For in one hour, they cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying. What city is like unto this great city? What city is like unto this great city? Now it's saying city, but it means it's talking about all of America. All of the U USA, United Snakes in authority. That's what it should stand for, or under Satan's authority. Because you oppressors, that's what you do over here. All you do is rule. That's all you do, abusively. You can care less about the black man or the Hispanic man or Native Indian man. You can care less. And our people subconsciously know that you have never paid for over 400 years of slavery. You only gave, you greedy dog. That's right. We. Verse 19, and they cast dust on their head and cried. They cried. Y'all, you oppressors, you, 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 you stinking heathens which is Asians, East Indians, Africans, and everybody else that's not black, Hispanic, or Native Indians, you started to cry when you seen this place go up in smoke. You should have, because you never paid for what you did to us. Read from the top. Verse 19, and they cast dust on their head and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, alas, alas, that great city, Wherein were made rich all that had shipped in the sea by reason of her calculus, her costlessness, for in one hour. There it go again. One hour. That's the lethal term we be bringing out right now. Within one hour, this place got destroyed. And that's not literally one hour, but one hour. A, a, a good span of time that this it took to destroy this place. It's not going to take long for Christ and the angels to the bottomize this damn place. Drop that. Let me get the book of Psalms 137. 137 and 7. Psalm 137 and 7. We bringing out the truth about this Bible. All of you heathens over here 
you keep oppressing our people, and we tired of it. That's why you got the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge to deliver you, to bring you that knowledge, to show you who, where you should be and who you should be serving, which is Christ and the Most High. Christ is our King. You got that? 137 is seven. This is Psalm chapter 137, verse 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. Who, who is Edom? Edom is the biblical nationality of the white man who is the oppressor of the, of the slaves in America. Edom. Edomites. Read. Who say, raise it, raise it, raise it, raise it. Meaning, back in our homeland, he's saying, raise it, raise it. He's destroying this place. Burn it. Burn our homeland. Read. Even to the foundation thereof. Even to the foundation of thereof. What is our homeland? Jerusalem. Israel. That's our homeland. Read it again. This is Psalm chapter 137, verse 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. Edom. Edomites. The white man. Read. In the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Verse 8. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. Who's the daughter of Babylon? Right here. You're standing right there, right now. You in hell, black man, Hispanic man, native Indian man. You are in hell right now. Hell is not a place after death. And neither is heaven. Keep reading. Happy shall he be. Happy shall he be. Listen closely. Read. That, for what you do, for what you did, Mr. White Man, Mr. Oppressor, for what you did to our people, this is what's going to happen to you. Read. That rewarded be as thou hast served us. This is what you did to us. Read. Verse 9. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stone. Happy shall he be that taketh and dash of thy little ones against the stone. You used to kill native Indian children. You used to cut the stomachs of black women open and stomp the babies. And bash their hands against the trees. Be because they were slowing up the line. Throughout, they call it the family, trying to call it the great migration. But it's not. It's a trail of tears. That's right. Read that again. This is Psalm 1, chapter 137, verse 9. Happy. Shall he be? Listen closely. Happy shall he be. You might think this is torturous, but it's not. You need to hear this. Read. Happy shall he be that taketh and dashes thy little ones against the stone. This is the Bible saying this. This ain't no comic book. Happy shall he be that take up thy little ones. Those are babies. The little ones are babies and dash them against the stones or the rocks. That's what you did to our people. And that's what's going to happen to you. You stinking heathen. Read that again. This is Psalm chapter 137, verse 9. Happy shall he be that taketh and dashes thy little ones against the stone. And within one hour, like we brought out the scripture before, this place is going to be destroyed. And these babies of yours is going to be smashed against the stones. We didn't make this up. We did not make this up. This is the Bible. Raise it up. Show them what you read. This is the Bible right here. This is, the, this is our constitution. This is, this, is, this is our book. This is our history, our science, everything. You don't have to go nowhere else. They took, they, they took our identity from us. They kept showing. You keep calling people different names and you're confusing them. Negroes, savages, African Americans, wetbacks. Whatever name they gave the black man, Hispanic man, and North American Indian man, it all is right here in the scriptures. They called us all types of horrible names, and they still do it today. Why? Because they shut us up to George Brown. Because they shut us, they really shut us to the children of Israel. Why? Because we're better than you, Mr. Oppressor. We, we are the special people that this book is talking about. 
We are the chosen children of the Most High. That's right. And Christ is our King. Christ is not God. So stop believing what the Christian church teaches you. Christ is not God. Christ is our King. And he will be back on ships or the, the oppressor. He likes to call them UFOs. We call them IFOs, identified flying objects, or in the scriptures, chariots or wheels. That they're not alien ships. And these are the vehicles that the angels in Christ ride on. And these are the vehicles that's going to destroy this place with great power. This is not salt. Christ is not coming back for kisses and hugs. He's coming back to do this. Read verse 9 again. This is Psalms 137, chapter 9. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Happy shall he be that taketh thy little ones and dash him against the stones. Once again, we didn't make this up. This is our constitution that we're reading right now. And that's justice right there. That's justice coming from the Most High. We don't have to do that right now. We don't have to lay a finger on the oppressor. All we gotta do is serve the Most High with these law, statutes, and commandments and, and do what they say. Don't just do half of them, but do all of them. Christ came to fulfill everything. So we need to be like, we need to be just like Christ and follow what he said. He's doing the, he's doing the work of the Most High. And Christ told us, occupy till I come back. And that's what we're doing right now. We are working. We're not just sitting back like the Christian church, unaliving people, accepting drug money, you know, um, violating children, body wise. That's what we're doing. We're doing the real work of the Most High. Yeah, Babylon is falling.